you can see world-class opera performance right here in the tri-state. Oh, and we are awed by this man's voice oh, just man. speaking right now, so just wait. Book. Yeah, Cincinnati Opera's Summer Festival is happening right now at the Over the Rhine's famous music hall and, and another place as well. That's right, and this morning we're joined by world-renowned opera star Morris Robinson. Morris, thanks for coming in this oh, morning. We yeah. appreciate you. Thanks for having me. I'm happy to be here. Thank you. Right? I you, mean, see, you see what we're talking about? Girl, oh. It's early in the morning, guys. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you could say I'm, anything I'm and we'd love it. Right now, you know? <laughs> well, you, yeah. you've got a couple of different things going on. Yeah. We'll, we'll get into both shows. But I always like, anytime we talk to someone from the opera when they come in, mm. I think people hear the word opera. Yeah. And there's there's an intimidation that comes along mm -hmm. with that. There's something where people kind of go, I, I don't know if that's yeah. my deal. Why, why should opera be people's deal, and particularly this opera? Well, you know, in, in general, opera was written for everyone. It was not just written for the aristocracy. So you shouldn't feel intimidated by opera. You should come out and enjoy it. I tell people it's like going to a wonderful movie and watching it with a much better live soundtrack. So, <laughs> and I, in particular, I think it's a great opera to start with because it's a love triangle. You know, something that we can relate to today in today's dramas on TV and radio and and in music. You know, it's it's a love triangle and it's you know it has some very memorable tunes. Verdi's a wonderful uh, composer and wrote some some tunes that you'll walk away from the opera humming. And so, uh, this production is very very Egyptian. It's very traditional. You're going to see lavish costumes, lots of dancing. There's ballet inside of it. I think we have two Clydesdale horses on stage. It's Whoa. all kinds of stuff. So yeah, it's, it's going to be pretty cool. Yeah, that's really cool. I think we said earlier there's going to be something like, is there 60 vocal performers as well as part of this? I think there'll be more than 60 like actually. Really? Yeah, you'd have like at least 65 oh, at people and an elephant or, no, not an elephant, and two horses. So it'll be good, yeah. yeah wow. And we're just getting just a little piece just a little of the, the, yeah, the, that's the some staging stuff, yeah. and the costumes. Yeah. And wow. yeah, that is uh, that is going to come alive on stage. And you're going to be coming alive on stage in, a, in another show as yeah. well. Um, to, to Morris and Friends. Morris and Friends. friends. Yeah, what, tell yeah. me about Morris and Friends. Well, you know, um, when I came into the opera world, you know, my, my background in music was not cl traditionally classical music. My background in music came from the church, and I was a church drummer. Uh, so Morris and Friends is something that we come up with. You know, it's not, we used to do opera goes to church where we take opera singers into church and go out and sing opera arias and then have a church service and we sing gospel music. Well, this time we're doing the reverse. I'm going to have a lot of my world-renowned friends in town, world-renowned. Uh, we're going to do a classical music concert for the first half of the show. And then the second half, we're going to go back home. We're going to go back to our roots, and we're going to play the instruments that we played. We're going to sing songs that we played. Awesome. So you'll you'll see someone like myself singing in the first half and then playing the drums in the second half. You'll see Lawrence Brownlee singing um, as a me in the first half and then playing the bass guitar in the second half. You'll see Jacqueline Eccles. You'll have uh, Reggie Smith. You'll have Will Liverman. You have Tashina Vaughn and all these wonderful singers. Russell Thomas, and I, I can't think of any place on the planet that you can go and hear wow. that many world-class singers at one time on one stage, and we're doing it here. So. And that one is taking place at CPA, or SCPA, right? No, that's happening at Music Hall. Oh, that so. one's at Music Hall. And in okay. fact, it'll be on the set of Aida. I'll be singing Aida the night before oh on the goodness. 26th, and then the 27th, we'll do Morris and Friends on the same set. So Now, <laughs> do you, when you go between those two different styles of mm. music, is there anything in particular that you have to do with your instrument to kind of change that quickly, like one half your opera, the next half your gospel? Well, I was always a terrible gospel singer. My sisters always give me a hard time because I didn't fit into that genre. My voice is meant for opera, but the piece that I'm doing in the second half, I actually hold on to my technique and sing it about the same way as I would sing Zarastro. So I think it'll be interesting. We won't, you know, it's, it's really going to be a powerful concert. You're going to see us ebb and flow between different genres, and yeah. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Very excited about it. What do you What do you think about Music Hall? We all, we all sort of you know consider it a palace. You, you know, it's just, it's just such a beautiful place, and acoustically, yeah. it's it's wonderful as well. One of the acoustically one of the best buildings I've ever been in in my life. Really? Wow. Yeah, and after the renovation, even better. It's just a wonderful design, beautiful hall. It's you know Cincinnati has a gym over there, and it really is. Uh, comparable to any other house that I've ever been in. In fact, it's probably better than most because, you know, it gives you this wide open feeling so you can, when you sing out into the hall, you get something back. So it's really rewarding as a singer to be able to put sound out and hear what you're doing. So. Oh, wow. Cool. Well, so let's just quickly review. The, the There are three things coming up. I think there's the one at the SCPA, which I was getting confused, which I think is a world premiere. Yeah, Caster and Patience. That's going to be opening on the 21st of July. And then what? Uh, and then the 22nd of July, Aida opens. And then on the 26th of July, I'm doing Aida. <laughs> and on the 27th, Morris and Friends. And then another performance of Aida on the 29th and the 31st. So wow. other than that, I'm not too busy. <laughs> <laughs> not, not a whole lot going, going on. on. Yeah, you know. Well, with that kind of schedule, we're so thrilled you came yes. in to visit us Thank this you. morning. Thank, Thank you so much. We're Thanks for having Thank me. You. Thank All you. Thank right. you so much. And we'll, we'll have all that information up on our website as well. Go to local12.com. We'll get you some links, that kind of thing.